Hello, YTPC. John Meadows, Soul Patch Piper. Coming to you today on a Tuesday before the 4th of July. I am smoking some Brian's Blend from Smoker's Haven up in the greater Buffalo area. It's a straight Virginia blend. It's got lights and darks. Um, stoved. It's a very mellow, very mellow, you know, mellow, very mellow Virginia blend. It's not harsh. It doesn't bite. Uh, it's just a real pleasant Virginia. I'm smoking it in, um, I believe that's a Zulu shape, isn't it? I'm not totally sure. Anyway, this is a pipe I got from Jean Panza from Switzerland. John's a good buddy. And uh, John, I really love this pipe. It's definitely in my daily rotation. So I've been seeing a lot on, on YTPC in the last couple of days about the passing of Danny Shore. Uh, I was a subscriber of Danny's. I really didn't interact with him much at all. Um, but I know he was um, favored by a lot of folks in terms of their interactions with him uh, on the YTPC. And it, it's apparent he's had a, a deep impact on people's lives, positive impact. And that's, you know, what a legacy. That's great. It's great to, for an outs, what I consider myself an outside observer to observe that about somebody. Where do you go, Danny? Um, but it got me thinking. I just finished my stroll with my bowl mid-morning here in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. It's, it's muggy out here today. But um, it got me thinking. You know, I, I, about passing, I, I experienced that uh, in, in January of this year with a close colleague of mine, somebody I hired onto my team, and um, he, was a, he was a great man, Brian. Oh, I'm smoking Brian's blend today. How about that? It's to you, Brian. But, you know, whenever, whenever you lose somebody that uh, is a loved one or close to you in some way, it has an impact. And it, it, there's, a, there's a lot of things that come from that. Things that we wouldn't necessarily want to experience or sign up to, for. Um, the grieving process is not fun, but it's necessary. I will say that. Um, you know, I learned through the passing of my dad and my mom um, in relatively short period of time together that um, you know this that's not something you you ever get over you don't get over the loss of someone you love but you do learn to live with it and, and I think that's the resolution that's the best resolution you can hope for so what I was thinking about on my stroll was that this is one of those inevitabilities of life, isn't it? It's crazy. It's strange. It's like a contradiction in terms. We deal with it like a contradiction in terms. I do, anyways. I think a lot of people do. In that, death is not something we like to think about. It's not something that we like to talk about or plan for. Uh, but it's coming. <laughs> you know, we're, we're all going to face it. And our loved ones are, who, who live past us are going to face the loss of us. Those are some heavy thoughts, and um, but to me, it's kind of like growing old. Um, I don't think it's something to be feared. I think it's something to be embraced um, as a reality, and and to the point where you you do it the best you can. Uh, I know I you know, I'm in my early fifties, and a lot of things have changed in the last ten years. My body, my outlook on life, and that's natural. And I think when we lose somebody, the grieving process and, and the learning to live with that loss helps us along our journey. Uh, not just from the positive impact people have on our lives, as big as that is, but also the, the act of grieving their loss it changes us, and I think that's an important thing. 
it's an important piece of input into our own psyche or psychology or whatever term, ten dollar term you want to put on that. So, to those of you who are deeply impacted by Danny Shore, I grieve your loss with you. I, I hope you, your mourning progresses you through um, this loss and um, there are brighter days ahead. That's, that's the promise we have. And uh, I, I hope that you cling to that. I hope you find those soon. And I wish everyone a happy 4th of July, a safe 4th of July holiday. Celebrate the freedoms we have in this great country. And uh, I'll be putting some more content up soon. I'm finishing up the editing process of some uh, review videos I've shot, as well as some other fun stuff. So be looking for that. And with that, I'm going to relight my pipe. I'm going to finish this bowl. I'm going to finish my stroll. And I wish you guys a great happy 4th of July. Bye.